Hi, welcome to part three of creating a Drupal 7 theme. Now this tutorial is going to look at creating a .info file, but before we get started, what I'd like you to do is just grab a piece of paper and a pen and think about the semantic structure of your website. So how are you going to actually chop up the page? You might have an area that includes the header, um, an area where you're going to have a navigation, uh, where's the main content going to be displayed? Are you going to have a sidebar or not? Is there going to be a special area for icons, footer, um, and maybe a slideshow, etc.? So think about your website and divide it into sections. And you can see I've done a basic one up here. Now I'm not going to follow this one exactly as it is. Um, mine's going to be slightly different. But think about it in this context. So mock up a bit of a wireframe just to get an idea of the type of elements you're going to need to use um, to chop up your website. Now each one of these areas, so each element where I'm going to display dynamic content is called a region. Now regions are what we refer to in our .info page um, and what Drupal does is it looks at regions, it looks like at the machine readable name and it says okay here's a content area, this is where content has to go but what you need to do is refer to the word content in your .info page and then you need to refer to it in your page.tpl which we haven't created yet so we'll do that in the next tutorial. Now once you've got an idea of what your website's going to look like, um, create a .info page. Now you can do this using text edit, um, notepad++ or just regular notepad. I'm just going to use Dreamweave, I'm going to click on create a basic HTML page. I'm going to get rid of all this script because I don't need any of it. What I need to do is refer to the name of my theme. Now the name and the description which we're going to refer to both show up um, in Drupal. So when you click on appearance and you go to change your theme, you'll notice that it brings up the theme name and a description and a screenshot of each theme. The name and description is being pulled up from this .info page. So you can actually make it look presentable. So it, names like Petricor don't have to match the theme folder name. They can be uppercase, lowercase, etc. So I'm just going to call it Petricor. It's the same theme name but I'm just using a capital T P. I'm going to refer to description and the description should actually cover what the theme actually looks like. So if you're creating like a corporate black, white um, and grey theme you would talk about that um, if it's a one column, two column, three column layer, is it fluid or fixed? So just put a brief description in this area. So I'm going to create a red and white one column fixed width layout. Okay. So just brief description there. Now the next thing we need to do is refer to what version this is. Now it's really important you specify the version because if you're using a version of Drupal 7 but you've created a Drupal 6 theme, um, it's not going to be compatible so it won't work. So let's just say it's core equals 7.x which says it's for version 7. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is save this inside my Petricor folder. So I'm going to call it petricor.info. Now this is really important. Make sure the name of this file, so this bit where I've got petricor, corresponds with the folder name, so the theme folder name. Okay, so you can see that this is the theme folder name, this is the .info folder name. So just make sure they're the same and save that. Now if we've done this correctly, what should happen is when we go to localhost forward slash business, which is the website we're working with, and click on appearance, our Petricor theme should actually show up here. So let's have a look down the bottom here. Um, and then we have it, Petricor. So the name is showing up here and the description is showing up here as well. And it's not giving us any errors saying this theme is not compatible. So, so far we're good. Now the next thing we need to do is we're actually going to refer to our regions. Okay, now they're the ones that you would have mapped up when you were creating a wireframe of your site. Okay, so what kind of content is going to appear in your site and where is that content going to appear? So we're going to create those regions for the content. So we start off with regions um, open and it's the square brackets that we're using and you refer to each one of those sections. So everything that goes in the bracket is going to be the machine readable name. And that's the machine readable name that you're going to refer to in your page tpl.php, which is the next tutorial. 
So regions, I'm going to have an area which is going to be called page top. Okay, and it's important that you actually do include these. So page top and also page bottom. Okay, just because some of the modules do actually depend on this, so you might get some errors if you don't include this. Equals page top. So everything after the equal sign is just, you know, the human readable name. Everything in the bracket is the machine readable name. So page bottom, sorry. Now I'm also going to have a region for the header. So regions header. Okay. And what I'm going to include in the header um, is just going to be the logo, but I'm going to put that up there anyway um, because I might decide to add extra things within there as well. I'm also going to have a region for a slideshow. Okay, so I'm going to create one called slideshow. I'm going to have a region for all my content. So content is an important one. That's actually essential. Okay. I'm also going to have one for my uh, main menu. So I'm going to go regions main underscore menu regions footer okay these are just the basic ones I'm going to create for now if I want to add some to them later I will okay um, and that's pretty much all you really need to have in your dot info sheet you may have a lot more regions okay there is one thing that we're missing and that's the style sheet so we haven't linked up a style sheet to our theme. Don't worry about that, we're going to come back to this afterwards, okay? So just save your .info sheet um, and let's jump on to the next tutorial.